So, you should have made your key in the costume panel and it should have been a vector. And what we're going to do now is add the script to make it actually play the sound. So I'll go across to scripts and I'm going to go to event. And you can see we've probably used the green flag one before. What we want to do this time is use the when key pressed option. Now by default it's on space, but we can change that. So I'm going to go to when key pressed. And on my keyboard I've got uh, the middle keys A, S, D, F, G and so on. So I'm going to start with the first note on A. And when somebody presses it, I want things to happen. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into sound. That's where all the sounds live in this sound panel here. And I'm going to set the instrument. And at the moment it's on piano. We can change that to anything we want later on or even now. But we can do some really interesting things with variables later on. But I'm going to leave that with piano. And then I'm going to go to looks. Because I want to give a sense to the person on this game that the, that the key has been pressed. So I'm going to change the colour effect. So when they press the A key, it sets it to the instrument and it changes the colour slightly. And then the most important part of all this is the sound. I'm going to play a note. And what's good, and you see I've just connected that, uh, that piece there, what's good about Scratch is when I click on the drop down here, here's the piano. I'm going to start with a low C across here and it even gives me the sound. And then what I need to do is clear the colour effect. So let's go back to looks and clear any graphic effects. So, let's see what happens when I run the game now. So I press the green flag, and, and you can probably see it's just changing colour a little bit as well. Okay, and that's the, how we make a key noise and how we make it play. Now, the easiest way to make the rest of the keys is this. We go across to the existing sprite, we secondary click or right click, and we duplicate it, and it becomes sprite 2. And what we then do is just get these lined up across the board here. For Sprite 2, we don't want it to play the same sound, so what we want to do is click on it. You can see it's highlighted with blue, and I want to change the key from A to say the next key along is S. So I'm going to do A, S, D, F, G, H. So I'm going to choose the S here, and then I want to change the note. So it's currently C, and I'm going to do that as a B. And let's do that one more time. We duplicate. Let's get it lined up. It doesn't matter if they're not perfectly aligned. And then... See, that's now sprite 3, and I want this to be key D, and I want the note to move along 1, and we'll go with E. Let's have a quick look at how that works. So, green flag. And I've got a simple working keyboard. You will need to have your keyboard with at least 8 keys so that you can play a decent song, otherwise it won't work very well. And that's how we make keys for our keyboard.